Technology Tools for Learning What is technology? Technology is a branch of knowledge that deals with the creation and use of technical means and their interrelation with life, society, and the environment. Drawing upon such subjects as industrial arts, engineering, applied science, and pure science. So here are some of the technology tools used for learning. First, we have the Blackboard. So we are all familiar with this tool. Blackboard allows you to provide content to students in a central location, communicate with students quickly. Next is the Web 2.0 tools. Web 2.0 is a term that describes the changing trends in the use of World Wide Web technology. So, kaning Web 2.0 mo ni ang mga social media nga atong ginagamit sa atong pag through online. Next is mobile, smartphones, and gadgets. Next tool is the Notability app. Notability app is a full-featured note-taking app for iOS that helps students take notes they'll want to review, revisit, and actively use. So, kanina tool, pwede ka niya mag-take down notes o kung sa'yo mong gustong i-take. Next tool is the presentation tools or project. These tools are programs and software individual or organization can use to display their information in a slideshow format. It allows an editor to insert and format text based on their personalized needs. So, an example ni is kanang MS PowerPoint presentation, mga Prezi, and flip books. So, familiar man taning MS PowerPoint kay mo nito kasi lang ginagamit kung mag-presenta o PowerPoint. Next is the SoundCloud app. It is an online audio streaming and distribution platform that allows users to upload, stream, promote, and share music and podcast. So, kanin SoundCloud app, especially karon nga natin pandemic, Pwede ka na itong gamitin kayo. Aroon na itong mga students, mag-stream ka live sa imong discussion din. Ato na matanaw imong mga students sa imong video nga gina-upload. Next is the voice thread. An voice thread is an interactive collaboration and sharing tool that enables students to build online presentation by adding images, documents, and videos. and other media to which other users can add comments for discussion. So, kaning tools, tool nga, voice thread. One yung kasi ganang ginamaw, true online presentation. Next is the Google Drive. Google Drive is a free service from Google that allows you to store files online and access them anywhere using the cloud. It is also give you access to free web-based application for creating documents, spreadsheet, presentation, and more. So, kanin Google Drive, pwede ka mag-save ano yung mga files kan sa online niya. Imo magamit. Then, pwede po ka maka- Make any documents, mga spreadsheet, and presentation. Next is the projector screen and extra monitor. Projectors enable teachers to create bulleted PowerPoint presentation or other highly organized notes for the class. With the use of projectors in the classroom, students can take better notes with the ability to discern and what information the teachers display is most useful to them. So, kanil nga ito, gamit kay ni siya kay murag magka-interest ni mong students ka maminaw sa mong discussion. Kay, mara silang naingan nyo sa imong dako nga screen din. 
Then, makita nila ang masabta nila ang imong i-discuss. Next is the Google Apps. Google Apps is a core site of communication and collaboration applications that allow students to work from any device on documents and projects. Google Apps facilitate the provisioning of Google application and enterprise management tools, including Gmail, Google Talk, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Videos, and Google Cloud. So those are some of the tools that use in learning. Thank you. Good day! My name is Gerson C. Habines. For the continuation of our report, the topic is all about characteristics of a good instructional materials and technology tools. The use of instructional materials is a big help for the teacher to facilitate the teaching learning process. These visual aids are important in motivating and arousing your students' interest. Here are some characteristics of a good instructional materials that will help you in your teaching process. The size. It is a must that the material is big enough to be seen by the farthest students in the classroom. Consider also the font size and font style to be used. The color. Students are more interested to those materials which are colorful and beautiful. Remember that mostly students are more attracted to bright colors because it is easily catch the student's attention and facilitate learning process. The durability. Instructional materials are not made for one session only. They must last if possible until lifetime so that it can be reused. See to it that it can stand for longer duration of time so that the effort and money you render to have it will not lost in just one glimpse or snap. The economy. Consider also the salary of the teacher, his expenses in making that instructional material. They can use their resourcefulness and creativity to produce their own material. If possible, use the cheaper things and making your material so that it is not a burden on your part. Its portability. Our materials must be easy to handle and carry so that it is more convenient for your part to carry it, whether you will teach. Imagine you're, if you are teaching in fourth floor and your instructional materials is too heavy and big, it is not convenient for you to have it. The relativity. Of course, it must be related to the topic or lesson you are into. Remember, the teacher uses instructional materials to add is the burden of teaching and so that student will understand the subject better. Last, it must be unique. Students want to have things which make them curious about it. Let them manipulate the material to evaluate how they learn through their own. In teaching, it is must to have and now the characteristics a good instructional materials so that you can be effective and efficient teacher someday. Meanwhile, technology tools can enhance teaching and learning by providing multiple material types for all learning styles, enhancing communication between faculty student and student to student, promoting constructivist and active learning, enhancing collaborative teaching and learning, Providing asynchronous and synchronous communication. Promoting higher expectations via peer review and feedback. Providing prompt progress information. Enabling stronger group collaboration. And lastly, promoting and fostering lifelong learning. Best practices for using technology tools in the classroom. When using technology for teaching, there are four basic principles to be kept in mind. Number one, alignment. Technology should be used for a purpose, not for the sake of being flashy and not as, as, a, distraction, as a distraction from other forms of P. 
pedagogy. Number two, accessibility. Be sure that the technology that you intend to use is accessible to your students. Number three, assessment. As with lectures, discussions, and labs, provide your students with guidance when dealing with media technologies. And lastly, reinforcement. Technology should be used as reinforcement of and supplement to your teaching. Creating productive material using technology tools. As more classrooms move toward one-to-one -to -one tech integration, students and teachers are adapting new apps and software that enable them to become more productive. Often, when we think about these productivity apps, many of us think about the plethora of great note-taking and calendar apps available that help keep our students organized. But have we thought about integrating apps that allow students to work more creatively? Luckily for us, numerous apps encourage student creativity while helping them accomplish important class projects and assignments. Whether you teach music, art, English, or math, or any other subject for that matter, using a productivity tool that allows your student to be creative is sure to increase engagement and support their application of content. We also have presentation tools that pop. Although PowerPoint and Keynote are strong presentation tools, there are some other great alternatives that don't require lecturing in front of slides. These tools, including Kenamaster and Cyberlink Power Director, both mobile apps, allow students to engage their audiences through multimedia elements such as video, voice, and text. But the best part is that students can easily share their presentation with peer via social media, email or web blog, vlog, and posts, and many more. Thank you so much and have a nice day.